What's up, guys? Hope all is well. This is Ava Ani. I have to really think. <laughs> this is Ava Ani, and you have tuned in to the ISIP Report, where culture, classes, and commentary reside. Happy Tuesday to you all. Really briefly, I wanted to talk about marriage. Why do people get married knowing that they are not happy, knowing that they, um, they got married for the wrong reasons. I was just listening to a story this morning about uh, Camelo Anthony, the NBA player, as well as Lala and their relationship and how they... She initially didn't want to get married to a basketball player because, you know, the rule out there... Or not, it's not a rule, but it's just... It's known that basketball players... Uh, marriages don't last long they could last for even maybe 14 15 years or so or maybe less than that and then it it don't when the when the NBA player retires or whatever the case is it doesn't last which is so weird to me but she initially didn't want to get married and then um Carmelo Anthony I understood that he wanted to get married definitely to her but he wanted to have more kids and she didn't want to have more kids so I think that when I'm talking about this is because you know for some of you guys that may know or may not know I'm engaged I'm getting married next year and my thing is I'm not getting married for to the person for money or because I just feel like I need to have somewhere to stay. This is where I'm getting married for love. That's just my main thing. And that we have a lot in common. And we have endured throughout the years. And have an understanding. And, and really can communicate with each other. You know. And really can step back and say. You know. If this is not working. I need to take a break. Or I need to do this. Or I need to get my mind right. Or whatever the case is. You know. So. And my thing is. I think people emphasize so much on getting married. That they have not thought about how to stay married. Or the reason why they really got married in the first place. So. <laughs> I just wanted to mention to you guys. I'm like. Do, do people nowadays really want to be married why get married i'm telling people right now if you don't want to get married don't get married it is not mandatory yes um the world and society will put pressures on you to get married i know in my situation uh being a young black woman people would say all the time oh my god you're so cute and you got your stuff together and such and such why are you not married why you have no kids because i did not rush into it because guess what i want to have a long lasting marriage that is just personally me but what i'm seeing nowadays is just like people getting married they're having all these affairs and stuff and let me tell you something I know people are human and people are not perfect. But my thing is, if it's not working out or if you feel like you're if you're in a marriage and then you feel like you're about to do something crazy, you really need to talk to that person or you need to step back to think about what you're going to do. But especially in a, if you're in a marriage, that's just a whole nother ball game. But a lot of times people think that, you know, when you are married that things are going to change and stuff things are not going to change to certain things it's not going to change if you don't have the mindset to make it change to make it work but i'm just like why get married if you're going to have babies on the side if you're going to be doing all this cheating if you're going to be doing and it's not for love or something happened like i really think that with marriage people should <laughs> take a step back and really figure out if they want to get married to the person they involved with. Is it going to work? Do they know how to communicate with that person? Because I just feel like marriage is not respected as it once was when my parents were living. Um, I don't know about you guys, but my parents, they got married really young. As well as my aunts and stuff. And they've been married. They stuck it out 
t- <laughs> I probably could tell you stories, but I'm not gonna go there. But maybe one day, probably when I'm in my fifties, I'll probably tell you these stories. But the stories and things that I've heard, these women have stuck it out. Why? Because they had a strong love for the person, not because they was weak, not because they was gonna take people's crap or whatever the case is, vice versa. I'm just saying. I think people nowadays think marriage is a joke and you shouldn't really take marriage as a joke. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. And if you do want to get married, work it out and communicate with the person you're with. Don't waste time and really think about what you do before you do it. And especially to people I would say that are engaged right now, sometimes shit happens And you need to take a step back. But you have to reevaluate why you are getting married. And make sure you're marrying the right person because you want your relationship to last. Not because you're going to get a big ring or you're going to have a big wedding or you're going to show off in front of people. Because at the end of the day, when it's all over, you are responsible for the person that you're marrying and vice versa. And you need to think about that. And I think that... You know, that's why a lot of people don't want to get married. And you know what? I'm not knocking that. But, yo, (laughs) I wish people don't get married if you don't want to get married. And marry, marry for love and also marry someone where it's going to work. You're going to work as a team and make it, it makes sense. You know, financially, you're not going to be, I don't believe in marrying somebody and you, before you got married, you wasn't struggling. And then when you married them, now you're struggling. That makes no sense. Like, people need to do stuff to make to make sense. That's all I am saying. And you know what? I usually ask people when they've been married for a very long time, hey, how did you make it work? And the last person I asked was a Latino lady. She's really cool. She said, listen, communication and you need to and she was a woman telling me and I'm just asking her and the stuff that to be honest with you I already know but she's like you need to put the husband first yes your kids is gonna be there yeah you're gonna nurture your kids and everything but guess what they're gonna leave one day and it's just you and your husband so you need to put your husband first and then the kids I agree with that but I'm telling you guys the moral the moral guys the moral of this video is if you don't want a lasting marriage or you know you're going to do something crazy, don't waste your time. Don't get married. Because if you notice, in New York, I don't know where other places is, but it's $35 to get married. $35. Used to be $50. Now it's $35. I guarantee you that if it was way up in like $5,000 or more, people would really think, about getting married i think they really need to change the policy of the policies and procedures with getting married i think it should cost a little bit more to get married than cheap to get married because let's let's be real i think the state they make money off of just us getting married so if you got married i think it should be five thousand or more and because you're gonna think about it like seriously on top of that, people need to go into premarital counseling. That's just me. You need to figure out what you get into. But just just looking at the whole uh, Carmelo Anthony and Lala situation, I'm like, what did they get married for? Because he got a baby that they say he's not taken care of. And then she <laughs> she had kind of like shocked me. And they, and they said that she was in a relationship on the low with Ludacris. And I don't know. I'm looking at pictures. I think I was looking at the Lionel B show. And I'm looking at pictures. It seems like she has more chemistry with Ludacris. And I actually think they're a cute couple. But the crazy part is Ludacris is married to somebody and she's married to Carmelo Anthony it's insane listen if you in love with that person why y'all married the wrong person I'm just telling you guys (laughs) if you believe in marriage and you want that stuff to work um, take time to get to know the person 
and don't marry off of because they look good or because they got money because you need to marry for love that's just me and as well as to make sure um stability make sure y'all can work together you know and make stuff happen as a a couple you know because i'm not really seeing that and i get annoyed when people act like marriage is nothing or they get married and it's they're doing crazy stuff so hey i know we're not perfect we are human but just think about it let me know your thoughts do you believe in marriage do you think it's something you're willing to do do you think it is a waste of time do you think people take marriage seriously let me know in the comments let me know your thoughts from a female perspective as well as from a male perspective but anyway what i'm telling to you guys is marry for the right reasons marry to make your marriage work for the long run to last you know i don't think anybody wants to get married to get a divorce but yeah think about that anyway guys like this video comment subscribe let me know your thoughts um shout outs to analog lady my homegirl we did a live on ig last week and i really enjoyed it so hopefully i could do a live soon she also is into vinyls please check out her channel i think it's called analog yeah i'll try to have all the information but yeah guys salute to all my subscribers let me know your thoughts about marriage all right guys see you soon and um have a nice evening all right peace and this is abani